Hey, Facebook friends, it's Tuesday afternoon, and I appreciate so much uh, you checking in every, uh, every afternoon or many afternoons uh, or catching up when you can. I see sometimes your comments and likes, they all come kind of in a wave later in the week uh, when, you, when you catch up and watch the whole week's worth, and I appreciate that too. This has been a great season together. Uh, we've been looking this week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're talking about good shepherds, and we know, of course, from the scripture that Jesus is the good shepherd, uh, but Jesus also calls lots of folks, men and women, to come alongside him to serve as shepherds, as pastors in the church. Uh, and this, uh, if you're connected with the church, maybe you know that October is pastor or clergy appreciation month and uh, so I, I, I wanted to shout out some good shepherds uh, some good pastors who have shaped my calling and shaped my life especially from its uh, from uh, the, the beginning of that calling and and today I've, I've tagged uh, in the in the in, in the in the title with me today uh, pastor Donna Friesen Donna uh, was the pastor of my home church, uh, Leslie, uh, Georgia Church, uh, back in the late 80s and or early 90s, maybe. Uh, Donna was uh, the first female pastor that the Leslie Church had ever had, my home church had ever had. So in that sense, uh, she was a trailblazer uh, in that way, trailblazer in many other ways across our uh, South Georgia annual conference. Uh, I remember Donna most as an encourager of people uh, and as uh, and as a Bible teacher. She was uh, she she introduced the disciple Bible study uh, to the Leslie Church, and my mom was a participant in the disciple Bible study during one particular uh, kind of chaotic season of my college life, and I had come home on spring break and was trying to figure out, uh, you know, do I change majors, do I change schools, and uh, Mom said, hey, you should, you should read up on the, the, the week's assignments and come to Disciple Bible Study, uh, and so I came, and Donna was leading the study, and I, I still remember it clearly, the uh, uh, the lesson was through some of the Old Testament prophets, including that, that notorious prophet Jonah, uh, who had a calling but uh, didn't know about it and was trying to run away from it. And uh, Donna led us through that conversation. And it was that night around that table uh, that uh, I first really experienced a sense that God may be calling me to some kind of pastoral, uh, you know, Christian ministry vocation. Uh, and so uh, Donna was there at the beginning of that, and she was my first conversation partner over the next many months uh, trying to figure out next steps. And at, at one point, she probably uh, kind of wrung her hands and didn't know what to do with me because at one point I said no, and then uh, a few years later, like, like Jonah in the story, I, I finally picked it all up again and said, well, yeah, God, you really were serious. I wasn't serious that time, uh, but you were serious and so said yes to that. And so I appreciate Donna's patience uh, through those years of really great indecisiveness for me, uh, just an example of, of really how God's patient with uh, each one of us uh, at different points along on our journey. So I'm, I'm thankful so much when it's clergy appreciation season, I, I want to say thank you for that good shepherd, for Donna, for being a good shepherd. Uh, remember Donna, Donna's husband, Jerry, of many, many years, uh, passed away just a few weeks ago. Uh, Donna no longer lives in Georgia. She's, uh, she's in Kansas, her home state again, uh, but gone through it, you know, kind of a challenging time. So remember Donna in your prayers, but I'm so thankful. Uh, I'm so thankful that there was one more good shepherd in my life. So let's pause now uh, and pray together. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, for good shepherds uh, who lead us uh, through times of indecision to embrace your will, your call for our lives. Uh, we thank you uh, because of the one true shepherd, the best shepherd, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hey, and if you've got folks in your lives, uh, pastors, teachers, leaders uh, who have spoken into you and encouraged you, take this season just to reach out. And, uh, and, and even if it's somebody that's not right now that's from a previous season of your life, uh, reach out and express a word of thanks to them for being good shepherds like Jesus is our good shepherd. Thanks. Good to see you this uh, Tuesday afternoon.